Hello AP Computer Science A. Um, this video is to show you how to take a finished Eclipse project and then export it into a zip file that will be easy to turn into our online systems. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our assignment is complete. Uh, we want to run it here, uh, make, make sure that we get the correct output, that it, it's doing everything we need it to do then make sure that your name is in your file uh, because that way it's it's easy to tell in case you forget to put your last name on the zip file um, it's easier to grade and know which file is whose so once we've made sure it worked that it works and that we're happy with our assignment uh, then we're ready to export it now i usually keep selected the one that i want to export but i don't think it really matters so we go up to file and we choose export when we do, we'll see this option. Uh, we want to expand out general and choose archive file. An archive file is a zip file. Uh, once we've chosen archive, archive file, it will remember that setting in future times that we choose export. So now we choose which lab to export. So notice that it has lab 01.01 .01 block letter selected, which is the one that I want to turn in now. Um, and I don't want to have the other one selected. So make sure that only one lab file is selected. And another thing to check for is to make sure that this is a check mark as opposed to a box. Uh, because if it's a box, that means you have not selected all of your project files that you've, you've optionally excluded one of those files. So notice that if I re-include this project file, well, I guess it doesn't know. So if you so let's un un choose these. If you click this, and then so that deselects the project, but if we click it one more time, it goes back to being a check mark, meaning all of the files are included. We can even verify that the, the file that we care most about, which is the .java file, is there if we expand out the project and select the SCR folder. We can make sure that the ASCII box .java is included, uh, because that's really the only file that I need to grade. Okay, so we've selected this. We make sure that only this project is highlighted and checkmarked, not a box, checkmarked. Um, then we actually have to tell where we want to save it. So we click on Browse and choose a space. So like it's going to default to your workspace, but I find that, that that's sometimes easy to lose track of that file. So I usually either pick the desktop or uh, your downloads folder, wherever you're going to find it again. Um, I'm going to pick desktop and I'm going to give it the name lab. Oh wait, my last name first. So you would put your last name, uh, underscore lab 01.01, .01, whatever the current name of the lab is. Then hit save. And we can see that it's choosing to save it in my users. Uh, your, you'd see your ID number here. Uh, desktop and then whatever name we chose it. Then when we're happy with all that, we click finish and it exports. It will save any changes. So like if you changed your file and didn't test run it, it will save anything you changed in your file as it exports. So to find our file, all we've got to do is go to our desktop and we will see it. Um, it usually appears in the leftmost side. And so here's our zip file. Uh, and this is the thing that we want to attach uh, online. So if we open it up, we can see that um, my project is here and all of my files are inside of the zip. So that's what you'll want to upload. And that is how you export a project from Eclipse. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck on your programming adventures.